All right, this isn't exactly how I had this planned. I have a wireless mic I was gonna set up and I was gonna have this huge scene here and then the wireless mic was dead. So I can't do it that way. So I'm gonna have to do it this way. I'm getting eaten alive, so this isn't gonna be a long video, but I wrote something to somebody the other day. I feel like I'm a, a spiritual being in a meat suit that doesn't always want to cooperate with me. This, this being doesn't always understand what's going on around it either. So when neither one of them understands what's going on, I get lost. The more lost I get, the less I feel like being here. So they will both ponder what's happening. And once they come to a mutual agreement, then things start picking back up. Now, I must say that God is my strength at this point. I surrendered and just do what I'm told uh, by my tuition. I still don't always understand it. And that can cause some issues. Some of the best things in my life have happened when I've gotten eaten alive by bugs. Um, some of the, the best things in my life have happened by just listening to that intuition and I know I'm not in charge of it. Admittedly, I, I have been, I have had very strange life and getting tired of the constant insanity. I believe we are always, I believe we always have a crazy life. We gain weight to, uh, I, all right, so the last part of it is, so I think a lot of us who have had a crazy life also kind of gain weight to shield ourselves from the outside world. Now this isn't really a, a, you know, a, a weight thing here, but I think a lot of us shield ourselves in something. And when we don't really understand what's going on, this is insane. There's so many bugs. I'm sweating like crazy, whatever. When we don't understand what's going on, we kind of shut down. A lot of people do this. A lot of people use drugs. A lot of people use alcohol. A lot of people use sex. And it just kind of gets you further and further and further into what you're actually going through. Hopefully I just got it. I think it's just one. And it, it makes it even worse. So what happens is you start sweeping this stuff under the rug. I'm actually standing on two different rocks. I'm like, teetering back and forth. Um, it makes you sweep things under the rug. And this might happen for generations and generations and generations. And I think this idea of the chosen ones are coming or came onto this planet starting in the 80s, 70s, maybe 80s through now. And we uh, apparently have to break these generational curses. Now, I don't know how true any of this is, but I do know that there's a lot of mosquitoes. But I do know that a lot of people are going through a lot of crazy things right now. The earth is going through crazy things. Now, I'm not saying it's the end of time. I'm not a prophet. I'm not anything, right? I'm just me. I'm just living this life. I've had a very strange life. Like, I've always been pretty blessed. I've always had a roof over my head to some extent. I've always had food, clearly. And I've always had everything, every basic need that I need, that I, that I, you know, need that I, I have, I, I, I've, it's been covered, right? It, you know, God says that, that if I, if I cover the birds and the, uh, you know, the bees and all that kind of stuff, I'm also going to cover you. Aren't you worth more than that? But some of the other stuff that I have gone through has been crazy. And I'm just making this video, not to poor me, but anybody who's watching this, so you can know that you're not the only one going through it. You're not the only one that has crazy thoughts. You're not the only one that sweeps things under the rug. And when you stop sweeping things under the rug, it can get really, really, really ugly. Really ugly, really quick. And that is kind of the stage of life I'm in right now. I, I'm like, I got to stop sweeping things under the rug. Some people go to work like crazy hours. Some people drink, some people sex, some people alcohol, some people do gambling. Some people, you know, it, it, it's going to vary for everybody. It's going to vary for everybody. But somebody has a version of sweeping things under the rug. Sometimes I actually just straight get headaches, right? You might just get headaches. I don't know. But a lot of us, I think, are being called to kind of finally just deal with this. I think especially this year, we have been called to just deal with what we're going through and allow it to happen, allow everything to go to happen. I think a lot of us are in separation from things that we really wanted to do, things, people that we wanted to have, or just whatever it is. I think there's a lot of separation going on. There's a lot of mosquitoes here. This is insane. Uh, I must be on some kind of like water area or something. This is 
anyways, if you are going through this, and I know I've made a very similar video to this not too long ago, but if you are going through this, you are far from the only one. I don't know what to tell anybody about it though. Like, I don't know what to tell you when you're going through it, but you know, it's not fun, right? There's nothing fun about it. <sighs> Finally got one of them. There's nothing fun about it. But I think it's necessary. I think a lot of us were separated. Maybe we'll be coming back into other people's lives. I, you know, the last time I was actually in this area, I made a uh, Dolores Cannon video talking about her idea of our life as a play and certain people come into it for a certain amount of time. Some people come into it for the entire time. Some people come into it for a little while, then they come back and then they're in it for the rest of the life. Some people come in for a short amount of time and that's it. And it can be rough, right? You're like, why is this happening? Why, why am I going through this? And it's not fun, right? So a lot of us kind of shut down from all these things that are happening, all these bugs that are biting us. And <laughs> these bugs are like all the irritants that you wanted to sweep under the rug. You just want to get rid of. And you can't because it's here. This is your life. This is, what, this is the, the lot that you were given. And there's nothing else you can really do about it. What can you do about it? There's nothing you can say or do sometimes to change things. Now, I know a lot of these law of attraction people and a lot of these manifesting people will say, well, you just manifest a different life. I, don't, I used to believe in that, and that kept me in total misery my entire life. And I don't believe in it anymore at all. I don't believe it at all. I don't subscribe to it anymore. I don't think that, that is a part of our life. I think that God is in control. I think the only free will that we have, and I think I said this in the, the last video that I did, is the belief or non-belief in God. I think that's it. Because things happen whether you think about it or not. You could, you know, for example, like you might think that you're never going to have money come into your life, and then it does. Or you might think that you're never going to see this person again and they come back in and it's like, I, I didn't have anything to do with this. I was over here, you know, you know, thinking this was never going to happen, but it could, right? You didn't have anything to do with that. And so when you get that intuition to do something or to go for something, I really think that you have to go for it because it do doesn't come from you. Right now, I'm not saying like if you have this intuition to go hurt somebody, I'm not talking about that at all. I don't think that's a good thing in any way, shape or form. But if you are having thoughts of like starting a business or, you know, this relationship or, you know, to, to call somebody or whatever it is, you got to just go with it no matter how scary, no matter how hard it may seem. Like earlier this year, I got this camera. It was in July. I got this camera. I think it was July. It was either late June or early July. And I've got this camera and this intuition's like, why don't you go start photographing people just randomly in the street? Ask them, go up to them, talk to them, say, can I photograph you? This is something that I've always wanted to do, just never did it for whatever reason. And I started doing it. And it was terrifying in the beginning. Now it's just, you know, easy to do. And I've actually stopped kind of doing it because it got so easy to do. And I'm like, I don't know what to do with all this. But it was just a matter of trusting in the process, right? Trusting in the process. The process can be a pain in the ass. A pain in the ass. It might not be fun at all. You're going to have people telling you while you're in the process how crazy you are for certain beliefs or how crazy you are for keep going or I can't believe how crazy your life is but yet you still keep going. You're going to have this, especially if you've had a life as crazy as mine. You gotta just keep going. You gotta just keep going. Because what's the alternative? Just sit around feeling sorry for yourself? Now, a lot of us who have done all this stuff just to get things out of our head probably are exhausted. So maybe you do need some rest, and I do, and I, I have been resting, and I will keep resting because, yes, I have done probably more than I really should have over the, uh, the years just to kind of get my mind off things and to kind of ignore how crazy everything really is. And that is going to eventually catch up with you. And I also grew up with a father, and this is, 
no fault of his own. He, he probably had a lot of these thoughts and this is what, the way he dealt with it. But anytime I was sitting around doing nothing, I would hear about it, right? I would hear about like, why are you just sitting around? I'm like, I, I've done stuff all day. Like, you know, like I've done stuff all day long. Well, you know, this could get done. And so you have, I, at least I have that mindset of if you're awake, you should be doing something. And I just think I've come to the conclusion <laughs> It's just not right. The person that I was dating previously for an, uh, quite an almost two decades was one of these people who does not sit still and is constantly moving around the house. And I'm like, lady, I feel like I'm working as well. Like I can't even rest around this because you are running around the house like a, a crazy person. And it's actually making me feel like I'm working. Like, but she never stopped. But it was just like, I feel like I'm working watching this happen. And so it was another thing that caused me to have unrest because I felt like I was working even though I wasn't. So if we have these kind of people in our life, it's no fault of their own, but it might ruffle our feathers or it may cause us to have, you know, it, it may trigger something in us. Who knows? Who knows? But if you're going through this, if you kind of identify as a chosen one, I've just kind of recently started hearing this term I think a lot of us are going through it I think a lot of us have gone through a lot I've I've been spiritually attacked since I was in my single digits I was the kindest most giving kid and I was always attacked by like these spiritual beings and it drove me nuts I or whatever it was but and you read about this stuff in the Bible, like how people get attacked or whatever. It just, I'm like, I'm living through this. And on top of the fact that I went to Catholic school and in Catholic school, one of the things that they do to get you to do your homework and all the other things that they want you to do is they'll threaten you with Jesus or God. Like, and then so like, you didn't do your homework. God is going to be mad at you or something like that. And you're like, okay, so then like now... I have a visceral response to hearing the word God. I have a visceral response to hearing the word Jesus because I'm back in, in, in uh, you know, grade school and kindergarten thinking, oh my, God, you know, like he's going to strike me down because I didn't do this or something like that. So a lot of us probably have that going into this as into our lives as well, especially if you went to a school like that and government does it too, you know, fear based everything. You know, we're going to take your house if you don't, you know, do this petition or whatever it is. A lot of us need to let that stuff go as much as you can. You know, like I, I hate even saying the word let it go because it's like, oh, well, like going up to a poor person, like why aren't you just, why don't you just have money, you idiot? <laughs> like why don't you have money? Just manifest it. Just make it happen. So it's kind of one of those things or it's kind of one of those things of like don't think of orange. All you're going to think about is orange now, you know? It, it, you know, the, the companies know how to use this actually in advertisement. They know how to get a key word into your head and it, just, it programs you. This is how they got Febreze because Febreze was a, a massive fail in the beginning. And then they figured out how to make it so it was ingrained in women's heads because women at that time were largely the ones who went gro grocery shopping and cleaned the house and everything. They, they got this ingrained in these women's head that they needed to use Febreze because of x and they did and and started selling it's like a multi-billion dollar thing now so once something's in your head or once something's in your thought process it's really hard to get rid of it and maybe it's not supposed to go away maybe those thoughts were actually put there by god maybe it's you can't even see it right now maybe it's something that you can't even see you can't even figure out how this possibly would happen everything it's kind of like watching a movie Although you know, like if you're watching a movie, you know the actual result of the movie, but it's like watching a movie. Things will go great and everything falls apart and like in that last 10% or 5% of the movie, everything comes back together. But if this is your life, you don't have the manuscript. You don't have the uh, reviews for the movie knowing what's going on. You only have this thought in your head telling you that this is going to happen, you don't know how, you are looking at your external circumstances and your internal circumstances at that time and you're like, there's no way. There's no way. Just let it, just let it die. But it doesn't. 
So maybe that's something to consider. I don't know. I think I've been bit like 30, 40 times in this video. It's probably time to get moving. It's been a rough year. It really has. And I, I said that like on one of my stories on one of my uh, Instagrams uh, a couple, like a week ago and a number of people agreed. It has been a very, very strange year. Not for everybody, not for everybody, but for some of us. That is the video. Any comments, questions down below? I don't know what, you know, comment whatever you want to. I'll try to get back to you. And yeah, like, subscribe. Share the video if you feel it'll help somebody, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.